Hello and what is up? My name is Shin Mentagazo. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. And right now, in this video, I'd like to talk about Vision in this game, in League of Legends Wild Rift. So we're going to be talking about Vision, Fog of War, wards, what they do and what they can do, stuff like that. Also, removing wards, detecting wards, and stuff. So, if you notice, the training section of this game has a practice mode. And in practice mode, you can practice any hero that you'd like. I don't have all the champions. I mean champions. And it's already unlocked for training mode. So why don't we just pick a random champion. The most beautiful champion in League of Legends. Ah, there we go. Isn't he a beauty? All right, so we're in game and you got some options here in practice mode where you can uh, for example put in an enemy dummy like that, right? Where you can hit, check how much damage you deal, right? But that's not going to be the focus of this uh, video. So as you can see, as I walk around the map, the other parts, especially the area behind this wall is dark right so if you go here there we go you can you can't you can't see anyone hiding if there's an enemy there let's put an enemy there let's put like a like a dummy there you go so for example this dummy is a enemy champion so if he hangs around there waiting for for a gang waiting to catch you off guard ambush you you can't see that that enemy and then there he is so that's called the fog of war and you can use your wards which is indicated by this icon above your ultimate your fourth skill so you can use ward and give vision to that area that you can't see right so that is one way to work around this fog of war also if you got the access to the beta congratulations make sure you go to the options and turn the fog of war brightness all the way down right so that you can clearly see the areas you cannot see or don't have vision of so next up is this plant once you hit that plant you gain vision in a cone for a limited time you'll be able to detect hidden wards enemies in bushes and everything else that you won't normally see so better take a look at that so there's another one for example the enemies are doing dragon that's an objective there and we'll talk about in the future is under attack. you hit this in the direction of your choice you got to move to that direction right bam you'll be able to see if there's anyone in that area in that cone for a few seconds so most people use the wards to like make sure that an objective has vision like for example the dragon right or if you want to see where the jungler is currently so you place it in their jungle so that you and your teammates know another thing that you might have noticed is aside from walls blocking your vision there's also the bush right so here for example let's put an enemy here let's put a dummy here there we go. So that's an enemy, right? Okay. For example, you're mid laning, right? Right, you're fighting someone there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a very hot battle happening here. But you don't have any wards in that bush. Anything behind a bush is also considered uh, in a fog of war or not within your vision. But once you place a ward in that bush, then you'll have vision of the uh, enemy on the other side of the bush or the brush and that's also something you need to remember like for example there we go so that area right there here just got brighter right right another thing is when you're at base you can switch your wards for a sweeping lens trinket there you go and you can do that by just clicking that icon so I'm clicking it 
over and over, switching between the two. So let's keep, let's try out the sweeping lens. If you notice, I don't have the wards icon anymore. So I cannot put down any wards and gain extra vision in, you know, different parts of the map. But this new button or this new thing that I got, the sweeping lens, after pressing it, will have a scanning action around my champion and it'll detect any hidden stuff in the fog of war like that like this plant here I couldn't see that but it will appear so uh, for example there's an enemy here let's put an enemy here and let's say that I come from this area right and I'm and that enemy is waiting to ambush me so there we go Having this trinket will give you that vision of the enemy, warning you that there's an enemy right there. Also, if it's an enemy ward, you will be able to detect that ward too and disable it. Like, I can't really, I can't really show since I don't have anyone else or an, an enemy that can put wards. I'm just against an AI here, but using this will detect any wards in the area as long as it's within uh, your range and it will disable the vision for that ward and you can see that ward because these wards that you place will be invisible after like putting them down one second after you put it down it'll be invisible and the enemy can't see it unless they have that trinket that red sweeping lens trinket and detects that ward it will disable that ward and they'll be able to destroy it if they detect it with a sweeping lens trinket and lastly this thing called the rift scuttler uh, if you if you kill this guy Wait, let me show you. Let me kill this guy. He doesn't fight back, so poor guy. Alright. He will go in the middle of the river and provide you vision. Right? So, as you can see, we are away from that area and we're still getting vision. Additional effect of that is movement speed. There we go. You get a speed boost whenever you go through that area. So that's very useful. It's like a free ward and the jungler usually takes that so that you know if someone's passing through or trying to do the dragon objective there's also another one in there. Um, so both both rivers they have a rift scuttler. So that is it guys. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any additional tips. Uh, this is not really a guide on proper ward placement. It's just the basics. Well, we'll get to that in the future. But yeah, I hope this helps in understanding the vision of League of Legends Wild Rift. And especially there's a lot of people who got the beta access, the close beta access earlier today. So I hope you did too. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please slap like and subscribe. My name is Shinman Tagzo and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.